Hi. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this universal LCD TV controller board. You can use it to actually repurpose an old laptop screen or whatever old monitor screen that you have at home, which comes with a digital TV, of course. So the first thing to do, you download the, this firmware that is provided by the supplier. You, then you follow the instruction that is stated in the product description by the supplier. But, but before downloading the firmware, you need to know what to look out for. I mean, you need to find out the modern number of your monitor. Then you need to go to this website. You can key in the modern number of your monitor over here. So in my case, it will be this model. The details that you want to look out for, very importantly, resolution. And then, signal interface. So for me, I have already downloaded my firmware over here. Then I can insert my flash drive inside my PC. Of course, you have to reformat your flash drive. You can go ahead with quick, quick, quick formatting, that's no problem. That's okay. Then I'll go ahead to transfer the file over to the flash drive. Proceed to load the firmware into the into the LCD controller board. Before plugging anything onto the board. You must set this pair of jumper so as you can see it says 12 volt 5 volt and 3.3 volt so of course this will depend on the kind of screen that you are powering in my case is 3.3 volt so it's set to here 
then we are good to proceed to plug in the um, CCFL inverter or LED lamp inverter and you can plug in one of these that's the button which you have to buy separately and you are good to connect the LVDS cable over here because if it's, this is set to 3.3 volt then 3.3 volts will be supplied to the LVDS cable if 5 volt then 5 volt will be supplied and 12 volt then 12 volt will be supplied so the major difference between the 6 bit and 8 bit cable is that the positive DC voltage on the 6 bit one is on the left but on the 8 bit cable it usually will be on the right so plugging a 6 bit cable into an 8 bit screen you will fry the screen the electronics inside there exists another kind of LCD controller board or uh, LCD screen driver or however you call it where you can actually set the resolution of the specific screen that you want to drive but of course it has to be in the table over here so for example I want to test for um, this resolution 1280 by 800 I will need to jump across context A and D so as you come over on this side uh, I have already done it so I can actually use this as a tool to test various LCD screens whose resolution are in the table as shown okay so as you can see here I have set up my LCD controller board so the LVDS cable of course there's a double channel 6 bit cable because this screen uses a one channel 6 bit a double channel 6 bit LVDS cable should work also connected to the monitor here <coughs> and into the board and as you can see this mark over here aligns with the arrow on the PCB board so you will know that it's being placed correctly and as for the CCFL inverter it's connected to the output here and the input connected here and the switch I mean the 7 key button the um, IR receiver for the remote control and the LED indicator are being connected into this connector over here and as for this one you have to buy it separately it doesn't come in a set in a set and the flash drive which contains the firmware is plugged inside here which as you can see so now let's power up my power supply Okay, the DC jack, mirror jack is being connected. So let's power it up. And while it's powering up, the you cannot 
you have to make sure that you don't cut off the power at any point of time while the firmware is loading if if you do so then the firmware won't be flashed properly onto the board and most probably you have to find some way to reprogram the chip over here or you have just to buy a new board and try it all over again okay so now i have found what's the problem with my lcd controller board so as you can see when i use this cable over here it doesn't work it displays nothing so I thought that I've installed the wrong firmware but actually I found out that I should have used a single channel 6-bit LVDS cable over here so now let's swap over let's do it off camera so right now I have fixed the one channel 6-bit LVDS cable instead of the two channel 6-bit one and you can see yeah I actually got it to work so moral of the story is so what I'm trying to say is that when your monitor requires a one channel cable you better get a one channel cable for example this monitor over here requires a one channel 6 bit lvds cable you better get a one channel one you cannot use the two channel cable that's what i found out so i was wrong early on so i have bought this tv antenna let's hook let's hook it up Let's change to TV. Let's do auto tuning. Okay, let's choose my country. I cannot find my country name, so I choose the nearest neighboring country, which is Thailand. And Okay, so as you can see, it's actually detecting some channel.
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.